Warning. Some viewers may find the following video offensive. Viewer discretion is advised. Lead up you, baby! Warning. Some viewers may find the following video offensive. Viewer discretion is advised. I don't know. Hello, Steve-O. Hang on a mo. They can't hear you, mate. Um, do, 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 do. Speak. Uh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Yeah, they can hear you now. How's it going? Is it me or is the audio really low? I don't know, is it? I literally don't have a clue, mate. I haven't turned this computer on <coughs> for two months. It almost blew up when I turned it on earlier on. Literally, uh, I used one of these things. I used a vacuum thing to clean the computer earlier. A little <laughs> vacuum, yes. <laughs> high powered vacuum well it's not a vacuum sorry it's the opposite it's a blower it blows um air it's an air duster it's actually what it is steve -O. it's an air duster and uh, i had it on full whack and um i went to turn the computer on and guess what it didn't turn on the lights came on the motherboard but nothing happened nothing actually happened so i was like oh great this is great isn't it finally coming back on the show just to show my face to show everyone i'm alive six, six weeks off and this is what bloody hey, happens. Hey, no bloody holiday to Benny Dorm. Six weeks off. Make it sound like a bloody... I don't know. I wish I could take six weeks it. off. <laughs> Some of the chat probably do want you to take six weeks off. <laughs> Ironically, they'd be the ones that'd be more upset than me. <laughs> so, okay, no. do you want to know another thing? A tragedy happened today, steve -O. I Is it what to you Facebook. told me just before we went on air? I went out to Facebook Marketplace. Jesus. I'm already... And I ended up... I'm buying... already bored. <laughs> and I ended up getting one of these things. An Xbox One C... D you know, S, whatever it is, yeah? Right. Guess how much I paid for it. I wouldn't even know how much one would cost brand new. 25 so. quid, mate. Played 25 quid for it, okay? It's not the latest, latest. It's not the latest, latest. And I didn't realise, because I'm that old now, that um, the whining of that computer fan is really relaxing. Sorry, what, what's relaxing? Apparently they can hear the computer fan, Steve-O. Um, no, and basically, I've bought a digital version. So it doesn't have a CD tray. 
Yeah. Oh. So um, basically, what it means is when I was down, I was down at CEX today, and I was like really excited because I was going to get Gears of War um, to play with my mate online, um, and I could get I could get Gears of War four, and I could get Gears of War five. I think Gears of War five was like four quid. Gears of War four was two quid. Gears of War 2 was one quid. I was like, yes, get in. Then I realized that the, 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 the console is a digital only. It's not got a tray for a CD. So I'm guessing the digital versions cost, I don't know, like ten seven ninety nine probably or something like that. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just like, you know, just, just ruined my day completely. You know, <laughs> I'm so angry now. I was like, I was dreading coming on here because I was just like, just feel like I put my fist through the, the table. No. Um <laughs> Bit of violence on a on a Friday night. Yeah, well, well, welcome to my daily life. <laughs> uh, and I've also got uh, a gig coming up um, in a week's time, so it's got a, it's going to be quite a few people there. So um, I'm kind of a bit How nervous. Many? We've got about 45 songs that we've got now, and we're doing a 26 song set. So it's going to be. It's, I'm kind of Bloody stressed yeah. out a bit. Uh, your earphones must be super sensitive to be able to pick up other. F- your earphones must be super sensitive to be able to pick up a computer fan noise or you have super hearing, says Harbour Boy in the chat. Um, good, how are things going? So, um, yeah, things are going good, chat. Thank you for asking. Um, I have a son who likes to um, drink lots of milk and um, abnormally lots of milk. Um, very hungry. You may want to explain that it's a newborn yeah a newborn <laughs> not just you you've know. got a son that loves milk yeah um <laughs> it's you know it's it's been it's been a real real it's been like a a revisit to the days of changing lots of nappies and getting uh th- there's a big difference between a girl and a boy and i didn't realize how much of a difference there is and there is um one major difference and that is that there's a hose pipe that's pointed at you when you take a nappy off that you need to deal with and uh, yeah i got drenched once thankfully and uh got, it? got pooed on once that was great is that it <laughs> yeah well the thing is you only happen it happens once but every, once it happens once you deal with it the next time uh, yeah you know what to do the next time like there's tricks that you can do and you have to kind of get back into the rhythm of of doing it it's like a formula one pit stop now when i change a nappy literally <laughs> Uh, thank you so much, Natasha. Um, he's getting, but yeah, he's 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 growing. He's growing um, crazy, crazy, absolutely crazy. When are you reviewing the Mos League? Oh God, do I do we want to look? So from an FPL point of view, don't don't, um, worry, don't worry about that. Continue. Don't get distracted by that rubbish. I fell down a Deep hole, about... Stevo. I fell down a hole and nearly disabled myself. <laughs> Literally. Tell us more. I was careful what i say you know the, the public domain don't want them to report with me well just doing me just cover up names by using false names and false companies and i know i I, I basically it was my fault i left a i i i have to be careful what i say i it was <laughs> Yeah, because, uh, yeah, um, I fell down a hole, there we go, and uh, basically I was um, walking backwards at the time, and I put my foot where the hole was, and do you know in the cartoons where you realise you're in, like, mid-air, and you, like, you feel like time stops, and you, like, stood in mid-air, I felt like that, and I was like, ah, and then I fell back and cracked the bottom of my back on the, on the floor, and uh, I, uh, yeah, it really hurt, I got a big bruise on the bottom, but, like, it, I was really worried because it was like swollen, really swelled up. It was like a week ago. It happened a week ago and it swelled up and I was like, oh my God, the pain. Like the first day was all right, but the next day, oh my God, the pain was ridiculous. And it was was all like swelling up and putting pressure. And I was like, ah, and I like lay down in bed and I felt like, like, like the swelling. And I was like, oh, I could not get comfortable no matter which way I lay. It was like really doing me in. So yeah, I, um, I've been taking lots of naproxen, which is like an anti-inflammatory, and mm. um, it's helped. And I think I'm out of the woods now because I'm starting to get my mobility back. Um, it kind of triggered a sciatica attack, which kind of sucked. But you know, it re- you know, you don't realize how much your back 
supports your body like just doing general stuff like putting your socks on oh my god your trousers on you know, getting out of bed oh my god so yeah I'm, I'm i'm feeling better now but two days ago i was like sitting in a chair was painful sitting down in the chair i had to stand up um karma baby says you're gonna get this <laughs> um not not planning on it anytime soon um if you weren't 20 you would have yeah i know connor you're right man you're right if i was 20 years old i would have got straight back up i gotta be careful what i say i don't because because of um yeah implications that may happen as a result good evening uh alex hope you're doing well my friend hello fpl fozzy is that alex is in art alex art alex alex Vollo, yeah absolutely yeah, alex welcome thank you for as ever to the thumbnails yeah. really appreciate it thank you we haven't introduced dan yet, right. oh yeah of course we've got joining us on the show we've got dan dan is um he predates me, myself and in, in, on on this channel well kind of in this in this format it's different but obviously the torbay elite podcast as it was if you don't know dan if there's anyone watching this uh dan is the one of the ogs along with steve-o and uh, he's joining us now on on discord dan how's it going man great he seems to be... <laughs> <laughs> he's fell asleep listening to my story how long are these stories are they long <laughs> he was talking fine 20 minutes ago and now all of a sudden he's vanished it, technical difficulties i guess from his end do you, want to, do you want to just say hello to the audience see who's here Jensen, yeah we've and got um, message dan to find out what's going in on. the chat asking playing Foden palmer harlan instead of taking hits i mean we'll get we'll get to this we'll get to talking about for, for fpl but we're just kind of just having a bit of a chin wag at the moment so feel free to uh you know put the kettle on if you don't want to listen to it and uh you know go in a <laughs> go and do the dishes um nuclear atoms is in the chat harbor boy shagare's here too um people are doing fleet free hits well shagare's doing a free hit um we've got natasha like i said we've got fire talk in the chat karma baby we've got animations here your mate animations uh we've got jojo we've got um Colm here we've got dazid we've got matthew Ezieshi. Uh, we've got Danny Boy, we've got Odin, we've got Paul Williams, PK7 in the chat. So hello to everyone here that has joined us. People are here and they are listening to this great <laughs> bit of information, this random information. Uh, F yeah, FPL, Steve-O. I have had a break from FPL. I've actually not had any time to think much at all about FPL. I know that you've overtaken me. You'd, that was weeks and weeks ago. Um not that it really is like the be all and end all because you're not doing as well as you'd hoped you'd I'm be still doing. doing shit if that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still doing yeah, okay. Uh, uh, can PG I just interject? 13. Dan says that he is genuinely here, we just can't literally hear him. Would you know uh, why? Well that he is? just maybe just de re reconnect disconnect and reconnect again, mate. That's what I'll probably do if I were Okay, you. I'll, I'll, I'll let do you that. Know. Yeah. If you can hear us. Um, but all's well, all's well, and um, you know the season's going on, and I need to log into FPL. And I'll do that in a moment. But uh, yeah, I I see that we've we'll get we'll cover the leagues as well. We'll have to cover the leagues um, because there's a lot of people that are um, doing very well in the community, and they're normally the ones that are here. Um, you know, the ones that are actually here are the ones that are doing well. The ones that aren't doing well, we just you know they just we'll see them next season essentially. Uh, but I need to go and open up my password manager to get my... Um, this is how long it's been since I've done um, a stream, Steve-O, that I'm logged out of my fantasy football and I've got well, to log in. So well, While you're doing that, I'll just quickly... Um, yeah, do it. Every, yeah. I'll just quickly... Uh, Nuker Atom's saying what I've been loving this week is the fact that Man City went out of the Champions League. Fantastic. Did you see that? I, I didn't watch any of it, but oh. I just saw the score and I loved it. Fantastic. It was um, it was one of those classic cases of like on on any other day City probably would have won that game on on the before like on the statistics alone but it was just like they couldn't finish him up and it was like it wasn't like thirty three shots I don't know the actual statistics but there was a lot of shots that they had but they just didn't take it they didn't take the um, the opportunity well it's coming the 
the detriment because Haaland has got a little niggle, a muscular injury, possibly. Kevin De Bruyne is fine. And the other one, Akanji, maybe a, I think he was fatigued as well. Uh, Dan, here he is. Dan is here. You, you're more of an expert on the Champions League. Welcome again, Dan. Good evening. You there, Dan? Good evening, Dan. Uh, can, they, can the chat hear live, Dan? Live from the toilet. Live from my bed, Jason. Thank you very much. It sounds like you're the bog, mate. Well, I wish I was. You're more comfortable. <laughs> Coming off the back of 84 points, I am. Happy, eh? Just goes he, to show you don't have to pay attention, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the best way to play. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing well until I started playing. Look at, the look at this. Look at this 84-pointer. Yeah, I saw that. Mm. Beautiful. Yeah, 26 Palmer. I mean, everyone's got Palmer, haven't they? What's, he, what's his ownership, Palmer? 46.5. I thought it was more than that. That's mental. The amount of dead teams that don't have him, I suppose. But um, but yeah, man, um, I've got some issues really to sort out. I've still got Harry Maguire on my team. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> the dead wood. Um, but yeah, um, Dan, how's it going, man? You all good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm just looking at my um, the chips that I've got left. And I just remembered that I played my free hit. And got 20 points of it back in game week 29. What an absolute disaster that was. But um, no, all good apart from Arsenal doing their traditional falling apart in, in April, mate. Are they are they going to concede the league to Man City, yes or no? Just need to turn up Dan's volume, Jace. I turn him up, do I? Is it is it all over for Arsenal, Dan, in the Premier League? Is it is it too much to ask to for them to beat to beat? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Hey. I just see what Nicola Aaron said. Can you hear me now? Um, can Mate, barely hear you, Dan. I, but, yeah, no, no, you, you, I can hear you fine, but the chat is struggling to hear you. But what I'm, your, your microphone sounds. Are you on your phone? Yeah, I'm on my phone, mate. Yeah. Have you got the pillow between you and your phone? <laughs> no, I mean, I've just, I'm, I'm lying. Are you on? on are you on hands free? Yeah. yeah, that, yeah that's yeah. what it is. That's what it is. Hands Come free. off it. Get off your hands free. Come off it. All right, hold on. Let me just. Uh... That's why. That's why it sounds so crap. How about now? No, there's no about change. That? He's moved his microphone. Talk again. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You're on your Nokia phone from the nineties, yeah. That says Shaggy. Um, and no, we we will we will persevere. It's all right, Dan. It's fine. We can hear you, mate. So you're a little bit muffled, but it's it's not the end of the world. Trust me. It's just it is what it is. Um, but you, yeah. So you're predicting Arsenal then to finish behind Man City. Are you thinking Liverpool have a chance to finish second, or do you think you can cling on to second place? I think we'll. Uh, I think we'll finish second, personally. Um, so, uh, as that to me, that's kind of academic, really. I think it's just a shame, but I mean, you never know. I think I just oh, don't see much oh my god, I know what the issue is. One second, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Dan, hold that, hold that answer, hold that answer, mate. I know why the chat can't hear you because I've got you coming through my speakers and not through my um earphones. It's that loud in here, yeah. it's that loud in here that it's I can hear you fine with my headphones on. One second. I need you to come through my speakers. Now, right, don't say anything yet because you're going to be really loud. Right, talk now. I mean, there's not Yay. much margin for error now, Perfect. is there? there so, I, I mean, the comments in, in you've got Karma Baby and Nuclear Rams coming at me already, you know, these, these comments. But I, I just think, yeah, I mean, there's not much room for margin for error. But you look earlier in the season, I think drawing at home to Fulham where they had 10 men losing away to Fulham. Seems like Fulham was our bogey team this season. So those are games. I mean, Villa was going to be a tough game. And uh, yeah, I just don't see, even if Man City, I think Man City will draw one of their remaining games. I don't see them losing any of their remaining games, but I just can't see us winning all of our games that are left to, to do the job. You see? Yeah. Because that's what it what, that's what it needs, isn't it? Really, yeah. Them to just drop points. Well, I mean, if they if they you've got you've got a better points. goal difference, believe it or not. 
Well, we have, yeah. I mean, we've no, we've been doing well since just you know, obviously the the resumption of the season after the season break. So we don't. I mean, doing very well, and it's just a shame that all those good results. It's just one bad result, and you're trying to match up against Man City, who, I mean, they haven't lost in the league what since like December, I think it is, or something like that, or drop points since then. So. It's just very difficult at the top there, and with Liverpool losing to Palace, I thought it was on. But you can't be we changed... to be. Let's be let's be completely real though, Dan. You can't be upset with Arsenal this season. They've they've you know, through and through they've been pretty pretty good. <laughs> Come on, baby. Yeah, I guess, I guess so, Jason. But the problem is, this is this has happened like literally the last three years, like of being in promising positions, like even going back two years ago to, to get in the top four, like losing 3-0 away to Palace and other results at that time period. And even last season, drawing at home to Southampton, drawing away to West Ham when we were 2-0 up. But I think it's... I, no, I think you're right. It is different this season um, with the results that we've had and, and the turnaround and some of the results this season and how strong our defence is. I think it's just one of those things where I wish we hadn't changed the team last week and we just stuck to that winning formula. Uh, Steve and I talked about it last Sunday. I think if we'd have just stuck to what we were doing with Jorginho in midfield, Havertz up front, kept it as it was, I think it could have been different. But it's all thin margins. Obviously, out of the Champions League as well, I think a lot of people are saying, you know, we need a new striker. We need a new left-back as well, to be fair. Tierney's not going to come back. So, yeah, that, those are a couple of areas for improvement. But there's not much in it. So um, we still had a a good season, but there's a chance, but it's it's a slim chance, isn't there? It's yeah. a slim chance, and I think I think what do you think Arteta's? I mean, I suppose the answer's the same, isn't it? You can't you can't drop points because you've got Villa. Oh, sorry, not Villa. You've got Liverpool, literally breathing down your neck, and if you you know, cause Liverpool, they're gonna be they're gonna be Galv- they're gonna they're going to do with everything they can to pick up as many points over their coming matches as well. I mean, we've got, you know, what, um, only a few game weeks left. What are we game weeks? 32 games played. So, you know, six left. So it's not long. Yes, I mean, we've got tough games. We've got you guys away. We've got Tottenham away. Even Wolves away tomorrow. I know they've got a couple of injuries, but it's an evening game. Chelsea... I just, you can't really, I mean, depending on what result they get tomorrow in the FA Cup semi-final, they're really just wildly unpredictable. So these are all difficult games. I mean, obviously you've got Bournemouth and Everton, which are more, yeah, more favourable games. But yeah, it's, they're difficult matches. I mean, Man City, they got Forest away. I mean, they they drew away to Forest last season when Chris Woods got a late equaliser. So, you never know, but I'm doing this perfect thing, Jason, of clutching at straws. I did it at the end of the game last week against Villa. And I always do this. I start, start looking at the fixtures and start making up these wild, hypothetical situations in my head. Oh, because Man City drew away to Nottingham Forest last season when they completely dominated the game and Forest got a jammy equaliser. It's going to happen again. It's like, you know, put them away. But I just Man City have got the experience. Man City um, have got the experience. They've got the they've got the know how to do it to see it through. They've got. I mean, there's a couple of games where it could be a bit of a. I mean, I mean, I'm looking at, I'm looking at like the fixtures they got. Brighton away. Now chances are they're not going to lose that. Forest on the other hand at home, Steve-O might have an opinion here. Could it be an upset, Stevo? Forest away? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were fans of Forest. I thought you were great. The Hudson and Oyster stand Bank Club. You love you <laughs> love Fo- Forest. Considering yeah, their uh, our rivals. He's not interested in Forest. He's only interested in Hudson and Oyster. Just... I think it. I think it's Brighton. Spurs. Spurs. Spurs have got to be the one that you know could potentially hold them up. I mean, Spurs Spurs have got a good history against Man City. I mean, they lost in the FA Cup 1-0 this season, but they drew at the Etihad 3-0 earlier in the season and previous seasons they've had 
I don't think Man City have beaten Tottenham at their relatively new stadium in the league. I could be wrong there. They, but... they've, they've only won twice in the last six, Dan. Tottenham have won three and drawn one. I think if we did yeah. a poll, I think we did a poll, like, I think, I think there's an 80% chance that, uh, that City win the league. I think there's 20% chance they don't. And the only way they do that is if they drop points in one or two of their games, either they draw or they lose one of their games. And then Arsenal do the unthinkable and just go on a run of unbeaten, six games unbeaten. Like, just, just win. We'll have win, to win, win them win. all. Yeah, I mean, we, did, know, we did go on that run before, you know. Yeah. Um, but United away. What a roller coaster it would be, though. Yeah, I just don't see it happening, Jace. I mean, like, if we did... I Imagine just Arsenal fan TV. <laughs> yeah, the views are back up for the channel, um, so it's all good. I mean, it makes it interesting viewing, but I think it's that momentum in football, isn't it? I mean, God, Wolves tomorrow away. That's not necessarily an easy game, but Cunha's out for them. Um, and Chan, his fitness is just getting back to fitness. So Cunha's we'll actually see. officially out, is he? Say that again, sorry. Cunha's officially out, is he? That's what I read earlier, yeah. So, um, <laughs> he scored an amazing goal last weekend. I think, like, you've got, as an Arsenal fan, like, and Arsenal fans out there, they, they may be a bit annoyed they obviously lost to, to, to Villa. But, like, for me, there should there's another breed of football fan that should be feeling a little bit more aggrieved. And that's Liverpool. Because... I g- genuinely think that if Klopp hadn't made a public announcement a few months ago that he's leaving at the end of the season, I think the players' heads may be in a more... I think I think it's affected the team. I genuinely do. I think it's it's made them... Like, they've got half of, they've got half of the focus on the games and then they've got half the focus of what's going to happen at the end of the season. And like, what's the shake-up going to be like? And I think if I, if I was a Liverpool fan, I'd be thinking, why did he have to do it? Because when he, when he announced it, I my initial thoughts were, wow, why has he done it halfway? Why has he done it this at this stage in the season? Why has he come out and said it? That you know, and it's going to bound to have an effect on the players. It absolutely is. I mean, the, the relationship that Klopp's got with the players, we all know. You know. There's a lot of respect for Klopp, and there's a lot of this whole, you know, arm round, you know, you know they, and I think, I think subconsciously, it's affected the players. I think Liverpool, if he doesn't announce it, the top of the league at the moment. I, I, I honestly do think that. Well, I mean, it, I mean, they obviously won the the Carabao Cup with a lot of injuries against Chelsea and um but yeah I guess it does it does play in the players minds I think you'd think it would help them to spur them on to win something but going out the Europa League last night uh, a bit of a shock there to Atlanta 3-1 on aggregate and yeah I think do you know what Jason I mean United have kind of put a tent in Liverpool this season big time because <laughs> that crazy game in the FA that Cup that was mental I was I was in Spain at the time and, and watching that second half of it um, extra it time was ridiculous that game was just Ooh. stupid it was just it, it was but, like, it, it was like there was no like Man United that, that, don't even get me started about United we, I think anyone you don't even have to, have to be a Man United fan to know that Man United do not play any brand of football at all they have no identity they've got no They've got no team like ethos at all. They literally it's it's hit and hope. A lot of the time for Man United, it's hit and hope. It's almost like watching park football at times, where you've got cra- you know, swarms of midfielders going forward, leaving a massive space. You've got you know Casemiro who's off the pace, off you know whether he's got eyes somewhere else and he wants to leave, you know, and he's just not putting in the effort or he's just lost pace because he's getting older i don't know but he's a bit of both maybe but it's it's yeah united against liverpool that game was just like whoa and obviously the draw as well to those, those yeah. points yeah 
I, I be honest, mate. I, it's been, I, I've been critical of United, but I've, I've rare, I rarely go into games where I'm like, we're going to get battered. We're going to get absolutely bad. I genuinely thought we we're going to get bad against Liverpool, and I don't know even know how we managed to pull off a two-all. And it was only at the end, wasn't it, with the penalty? Yeah, it was at the end. I mean, you, I mean, in that first half, they did get bad, but they're not. They come back with a goal. And what I mean to say is, I think that dented Liverpool's confidence, yeah. and then they lost to Atlanta, which was a big shot. I think anyone could feel. Yeah, you know, anyone feels that he can beat United at the moment, and then the fact that they couldn't twice. It probably has dented the confidence, to be honest. <laughs> well, they're, they're, yeah, that's the thing. You know, they, I know what you say. I agree with what you're saying, but they do have individual players that can provide moments of brilliance, like wow, in yeah. moments. That's it, really. Like yeah. Fernandez and Garnacho and individual players. Yeah, yeah, so that's it. And um, and that, I think that's just where Liverpool have dropped, and they've had some injury. Prop by they've had they've had they've had bad luck with injuries. To be fair, yeah. Uh, that that's hit them as well. So I mean that leads us into this double game week. Uh, double game week. Sorry, where a lot of us are going to be considering Liverpool players if we've not already brought them into the team and captaincy and whatnot as well. Really. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. so let's move. Should we move on to um, our teams? And uh, I mean, Steve-O, you've you've done streams already about it. Um, I think, I think we should probably look forward to the next game week actually, as opposed to looking at pa- looking back at the previous game week. What do you say yeah. about that? Yeah. yeah. So mine and Dan's teams are in Discord. By brilliant. The way, I'll, stick it, I'll stick it up then... on the uh, on the uh, just remind everybody of the fixtures. Of course, we have got a what, Stevo? We have got a what this week. If anyone a rubbish known. double game week. <laughs> a rubbish double game week. We've got some yellow flags as well on players here. I, I mean, God forbid, Maguire's not going to be available to play for me. Oh my God. Well, I you've don't... only got three double game week players, Jace. Yeah, but I've got two free transfers. Yeah. Um, yeah. So the chat can help. The, the chat can help me make my. No, they can't. Moves. No, you make your own. No, decisions. I have no, no. I I have absolutely no idea who to get in. <laughs> Not um, our problem. I, I'm just a casual now. I'm just a casual yeah. FPL player. I've got. I, I literally dedicate about two hours of my time a week, um, thinking of football, um, and that's more than me. <laughs> Well, no, an hour and a half of that is watching football, and then half an hour of that is actually FPL. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, uh, no. Well, we I, need to we need to ask how me and you catch Dan. Oh, well, I haven't, mate. I, I don't even know where Dan is. Where's Dan? I'm eleventh in the tour, Billy. That's shocking. Where's Dan? Where, Dan is fourth. What the hell, Dan? You're like literally 100 points more than me. What the hell? How have you doing so well? Um, <laughs> I, I mean, it's I, it's not impossible, but it's very unlikely. What chips have you got left, Dan? Bench boost, and I've got my wild card left. Oh, mate, he's yeah, he's won. He's beating us, Steven. No, he hasn't. He's no, been, he hasn't. He's gonna, beating us. I'm he's gonna, got his I'm bench boost and best. wild card. He's got his bench boost and wild card. There's no way you're going to catch him, mate. I've I've got Dale, Dan, and Simon Sainz. <laughs> you got, you've got to catch him. You got Sai in your sights. Fifty-five. Was it fifty-six points? You got to catch. Ooh, it's not. It's it's doable. It's doable. Well, I've got ben- I'm doing bench boost this week. If all my if all my players play, Ah, oh, Sai's got his wild card as well. You're doing bench uh, boost this week. Yeah, yeah. Why is that? Well, when you see my team, you'll understand. Oh God, here we go. Right, okay. I'll copy your team then. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you know I'm not going to catch you. At least you know I'm not going to catch you, didn't it? You know, it's all right, isn't it? When I copy a team when you're above me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, no, let's uh, let's, let's get real. It has been a terror. It's been such a shit it's, season. Um, though. It's been a crap. It's been a well, it's been, it's been a crap. Se- it's been a crap season. Um, but you know, it's, it's, the streams. This, well, the streams. You know, you, you've missed you've missed having someone to you. talk to, haven't you? That's what it is. Yeah, and I've missed Ray you. Ray Koreshi's in the chat. Minus twenty four. He come in, says Karma Baby. Good evening, Jason. Did the same Good. thing happen with Alex Ferguson once announced he's leaving, and then and decide not to leave. Good. It's a good point. It's a good point. But um, obviously, Fergie leaving, they did win. You know, in in his final year, so. 
Um, just goes to show the mental fortitude of Manchester United players compared to other teams in the league, doesn't it? Mm. Um, Trent has become a non-option. Yesterday, he literally admitted he himself he ran out of gas. Yeah, I mean, talk about a player that's completely gone off the boil, Trent Alexander-Arnold. And to a lesser extent, um, you know, Robertson, really. I mean, what is going on? Why, you know, what's happened? Have teams adjusted to the way they played against Liverpool to just nullify Liverpool's attacking threat from the, the fullbacks? Or are they just playing pants? I mean, let us know what your thoughts are. Um, evening, Brad. How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Right, so double game week. The double game weeks here, and Steve O's got his team. I'm going to put it up on the screen. Um, all I need to do is find it on here. Uh, where have you posted it? Uh, in team here, the right place. In the right place. Oh my god, I got to scroll down. Uh, team screenshots. Um, why is it not showing? There we go. Uh, Pickford in goal. Um, oh great. God, here we go. Pickford. Oh my god. It's a bench boost, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, you did say. You did say. I, I to, mean, this um, is terrifying. To be honest with you, it's been terrifying. Space, but... No, yeah. it doesn't because two, 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 Kirkes won't be playing much minutes. He'll probably get a, 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 a game and a half, if that, 120 minutes if I'm lucky, and then eight Newry. I've, I've seen no news on eight Newry. If anybody has any news on eight Newry, let us know. Pick for the goal. So not you've got a nice. It's team. minus eight as well. Minus eight. Minus eight. Oh. Mate. Minus eight. And you're doing a bench boost, yeah. Say that. All right. Yeah. So how did you get this team? Can you remind me? Did you did you um did you wildcard or something? No, I just had. Did you just utter. do loads of hits over a few weeks or something? Like, no, 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 no. I did a minus four last week and a minus four. Uh, I'm just trying to work week. out because because I haven't really looked at your team and this team is a lot different to what I remember a few like literally six weeks ago. Yeah, it's because I, I I knew what doubles were coming up, so and I'm just, just pre, like, pre right, I'm just the doubles. Start. Yeah, yeah. Um, so team wise, Pickford in goal, Nottingham Forest at home, Liverpool at home. So you're looking at what six points, eight, six, seven, seven, <sighs> seven between seven and nine. Four, four points. Seven and nine on a good. No, I'm talking like maximum. Uh, oh, sorry. Realist yeah, I reckon realistically, five or six. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking seven to nine maximum from Pickford. Munoz, um, West Ham at home. You four. Me. Yeah, four points. Virgil, I think four. you could get. No, I think you get six or eight points. No, sorry, seven, eight between seven and nine. You got Gabriel again, probably the same. Um, Eze captain you captain in Eze yeah realistically is that going to be a captain 100% nailed or is there a room yeah. for change there e Eze yeah. captain wow Eze is going to be my wow. captain so I've looked at the I've looked at the history and Crystal Palace have got the best history for the wow. out of Liverpool and Crystal Palace um, so Ain't Nori uh, Saeed Ain't Nori won't start tomorrow basically says FPL Harry in the chat You'd be pleased to know. How mm. does that affect your bench boost plan, if that is true? I may can I may cancel it because well, I don't I don't know. A better I opportunity to... to bench boost. Exactly. If he misses the Arsenal game, he plays the Bournemouth game though. Maybe. Yeah, precisely. Um, okay. Um, so looking at this team, players that scare me, Havertz I don't care about. I think he's useless. Sorry, Dan. What? Dan, do you agree with me? No, not at all. I don't so is it you've been away for six weeks, doesn't it, really? Does... Go on. <laughs> <laughs> it does, I mean, it? he's been away for a week, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> it's Havertz. I, I just don't, I don't trust him. I don't like him. I don't think he's a good football player. Uh, he plays for Arsenal as well. It's even worse. Um, players that worry me, really, they're... Eze, yeah, he's on form. Got good fixtures. <laughs> You've captained him. Um, but I, I honestly don't think there's anyone else that I haven't got that you've got that scares... I've got Solanke. I've you know, got Darwin. Um, got Salah. I've got Saka. Got Palmer. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're literally... Um, you know, you've gone with a very safe team. Let's be honest. 
it's, 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 it's safety there's no yes. there's no real risks there so well no you know. it's just my team isn't it it's 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 not a free hit no that's it. yeah if it was a free if it was a free hit i'd have Eze, elise and trent as my three differentials <laughs> on a lot of others they would be my three, like a double up in Crystal Palace attack along with Trent Alexander-Arnold. And then I wouldn't have Darwin. I definitely I definitely wouldn't have Darwin in this team if I was free hitting. I'd still play a 3-5-2. But I'd probably have... I, I couldn't even tell you who I'd have, but it wouldn't be Darwin. But he's just there because I've got him anyway. No, I think this team is... It's good, and you're going to gain rank because and, and because you've got to because have a lot more double real... gaming players than others that are around you where you are ranked at the moment, Stevo. Basically, well, because because FPL Harry is the real FPL Harry there. The real the real um, OG FPL Harry. In the yeah, game. I think that I may have to seriously consider looking at maybe bench boosting in a different game week. Because it means I'd only have well Henderson and Isaac. Because like I said, Kirk has and. Eight Newry are going to have what? 180 minutes at most between between the pair yeah, of them. Yeah. You got um, Shagare in the chat. So mentioned Havertz is not. I don't know how true this is or whether you want to take it with a pinch of salt, but um, Havertz not in Arsenal training pitches. I don't know how um, that about. affects his starting place or, or if he's got a niggle or do not know, but uh, he's he's stirring the pot, Steve. He's stir he sees your habits. He's like, uh, it doesn't he's, it, it really, at the end of the yeah. day, whatever happens, happens. There's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing I can control over players not training or whatever. I mean, Dan, you're an Arsenal fan. Do you know any news of this? I haven't. I mean, he played against Bayern. Um, he played in the last game, so I haven't had any news of him not being fit for tomorrow. I would be surprised. Um, so Take yeah, him we'll minus four, get him out, Steve. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think I think uh, Echo Dan. I mean, I mean, just wait. If there's any, co I don't think any concrete news is going to come out, so there's no point worrying about it between now and then. Anyway, you've got him in now. You can't take a minus four, get him out anyway. Just take him the hit, Stevo says. Uh, nuclear atoms. Get Mitchell or Sinesi in for Nori. No, I am <sighs> more looking at. I mean, this needs more research. I don't have the time for it, but I think that there may be a better time to maybe play the bench boost, possibly. Just. just yeah, maybe it might be a better time, but you've got a little double players there. Um, yeah, exactly. So it's like this is the thing, you know. But when are you going to get a better look, opportunity like not gonna... to get as many chances of the bites of the apple, if that makes sense? Mm. Um, but two of them won't be playing the, the mm. both games. That's the key. Well, Whereas in game week thirty-seven, perhaps. What two of them won't be playing both games? What, who, which ones? Kirk has an eight Newry. Oh right. Okay. If eight Newry's not playing tomorrow, that's already ninety minutes gone. Kirk has won't be starting both. That's already another 90 minutes gone. So it's whether or not you value having essentially two, no, one one essentially double game week player on your bench, which is your goalkeeper, and three single game week players essentially at most. Mm. Which, you know, again, the, the talent on your bench. I mean, Isaac, you know, you, you know what's the chance he could end up outscoring um, a lot of, you know, a lot of the, that bench anyway on his own. Well, take, take, so. take game week, double game week, 37 Newcastle. Uh, sorry. I've got the two goalkeepers, one away at Wolves, one at home to uh, Sheffield United. And then the problem is, is that it's, it's then Arsenal. Their, yeah. their three games. It's just, yeah, this is probably the best time to play. Yeah, bench I, I, I think just, just stick to your yeah. plan um, mm. There was a question. When did Steve decide to bench boost? Nuclear Atom said, when did Steve decide to bench boost? He didn't tell me about this when we were talking about it on Sunday surgery. But obviously that was Sunday. There's been a few that's days. Right, since I've, been, I've been speaking about it for for the past two weeks on, on Patreon. Mm. There we go. That's what happens. So <laughs> about four members. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I think, is there anything else you want to mention about this team other than the fact that you've you're probably going to bench boost. You're probably going to captain, almost certainly going to captain Eze. I'm just leaving the team as it is. Yeah. It's done. It's just left. So we move it's on just, to Dan's, 
Dan's team then. Yeah, I'm more interested in Dan's because yeah. he, he. Look at yeah. my the second Dan screenshot. Dan with his with his sewage brown second screenshot. screenshot. Which is, uh, just... No, no, Jason. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the screenshot at the bottom, please. I'm this looking. Yeah, uh, mate. I don't know what you do. You've got a filter on your phone. Like, do you know, like normal people have got anti, like, was it like the blue filter to to block out blue light, whatever it is. What I've got, yeah. yeah you've got, got you've got wasteland filter. That's <laughs> like, like, I've been watching a lot of Fallout now, and that lets mate. That's I don't know how you do it. Anyway, um, oh. you've seen Fallout, by the way. Anyone seen Fallout in the chat? You've seen Fallout yet, Steve? Good series, mate. Um, you like your TV, don't you? No, I don't like my TV. <laughs> you do like your TV. You like your TV. You like your line only, the, only the line bill. Of only the bill. Line, line of duty. Of duty yeah. Line of duty's good. Yeah. Um, anyway, we move on. Um, Dan's team. Um, why have you given? Why have you given that as a screenshot? Your transfer page. Because I haven't made the transfers yet. So I'm. Uh... <laughs> I like to see who I like to see the players are playing against. Well, I mean, I know that's what oh, you like, Dan. Dan, Dan. Made, yes, How but... many transfers have you got? Uh, I've got one free transfer, so taken a minus four. Well, I haven't taken a minus four. But so, do you want to read? Out. Do you want to read out Dan's double game weeks players, Jace? Oh, yeah, well, like I'm going to know. Darwin. Nah. Uh... <laughs> well, I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's, it's, it's... It's it's yep. Neto, Gabriel, Van Dyke, Havertz, Saka, Salah, Huang, Salah. Did you say Neto? Oh, oh yeah, you mean the goalkeeper. Yeah. The goalkeeper. Yeah. So he's got eight. So Dan's got eight. <coughs> so you're going to do a minus four, Dan. I'm assuming you're going to do Doherty and Watkins out. No, no, no. Da this is already with the minus four done. Sorry. So that's with oh. Son, Son coming out. Um, and Haaland coming out. For who? Uh, sorry, so Haaland out for Darwin in, and then Son out for Salah. So basically, the money from selling Haaland facilitates the move for Salah. <laughs> and then Darwin. I'm going to wild card. Yeah, I'm going to wild card next week anyway. So You brought Darwin Haaland out for Darwin in. And Are you who, mad? Who have you taken out for Salah? Son, because it's a blank game week for Spurs. Oh my god! I'm gonna I mean, catch you down this week. I mean, to be fair, you are kind of like, yeah. I mean, you you're blocking off Steve-O a little bit there, aren't you, with those moves? I did these moves. Well, I haven't done these moves yet. That's the thing. That's one potential scenario. Tactically elbowing Steve-O in the face right there with those moves. I think. Cock blocking him. Yeah. Wait, uh, so sorry. I mean, have to say that you... on, on live stream. Well, it's too late now, isn't it? Hold on a minute. You you have done these moves, or you haven't? I haven't done them yet, no. I'm Don't gonna wait do for Darwin in. Uh, you, you better yeah, are, you, are you saying that as, as a rival? or you? you no, you know I'm not mean? saying it's a rival. I mean as in... Why Let would you sell game, Halland? Mate. Let him play his Brighton. game, steve -O, right? Just because you're worried because you're not losing opportunities to catch up with him. Steve-O wants to My keep game. on Son. Steve -O the thing to... is, Dayton, let, let's, let's tell the truth here. This is how Steve-O said it to me. He said, oh... Jason can't stream at the moment, so come back on the stream. But really, secretly, yeah. the conspiracy theorists on yeah. X have said that he brought me back on so he could find out my plans to try and overtake Of course him. he did, mate. Of course he did. It's, it's, written, <laughs> it's written on his face. Look, you can tell it's written on I, his face. Honestly. I'm not fully fit, and he's not exactly banging at the moment, is he? Away at Brighton, where they're going to win at least 4-0 or 4-1. Harland, Harland is off form, um, but... Yeah, he was fortuitous the other week to, well, last game week to pick up points. To be honest, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Re don't remind me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I caught up with you a little bit there, Steve. -O. I don't know what I am. In really terms of annoys me. Behind you, but um, do you know the gap at the moment between us? It's like fifty, isn't it? Yeah, so it's catchable. It's catchable. It's catchable. Could yeah. you imagine? I think you'd f you'd flip a lid. I think if I'd be <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Um, I think yeah. I, I mean, the, the team's fine, Dan. I mean, you're gonna get Salah and Darwin in. You know, you got eight double game week players. Salah and Darwin, though. I yeah, I mean, he's edging his bets, isn't he? He's, he's thinking, right? I'm an Arsenal fan. Liverpool are gonna keep up with us towards the end. They're gonna need to bang in some goals. Where are the goals gonna come through? Well, obviously on the right and penalties with Salah. You got Darwin as well. He has about twenty million chances every game to score. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see. I mean, coming back to my team, this is just one variation of my 
transfer strategy. I've got multiple spreadsheets on my old um, spreadsheets. Oh, well, hold on, hold on a minute. Talking of spreadsheets, Firetalk says I should be more concerned about him catching me. Well, I've already said that you're going to catch me. In fact, I'm already encouraging you to, to catch me. You're going to do very well with your free hit. I've already predicted what your free hit team is. It's going to be exactly what I expect it to be. I expect you to overtake me by the end of the season. But then again, you spend God knows how long playing this game. I, I, I don't. I just go, yeah, done, done. I don't, know, Happy I don't days. believe that, Steve. The, fa- the fact minute. that you're so low oh, down, I get, your, get, your more get your pad out. Come on, well, let me see your hold pad. On. I shouldn't be be saying that should i jace people will complain yeah sorry fire i apologize fire talk i'm really sorry about that i shouldn't have said that out but hang on let me go full let me go full screen what was that i i'm sorry it's gonna mute him there we go <laughs> you're gonna mute me yeah, yeah a timeout steve yeah, yeah, you, you, you're going out of character now steve get back on character <laughs> <laughs> Um, Harlan does look tired, yeah. Harlan's uh, got a muscle injury that's affecting his game. He may not even play, Pepper said. We will see, says Nico Adams in the chat. Lucy is over the top naive. What? Who's Lucy? Odin. I was talking about Fallout, I think. Oh, yes, yeah. So, yeah. So, as a non player of the games, let's talk about Fallout for a moment. As a non player of the Fallout series, um, I loosely know about Fallout because there was a mobile game years ago that came out called Fallout Shouter and I kind of played it a little bit, but. Um, Fallout is a game I've not played on um, the main consoles and um, I thought that the episodes were very interesting I think every episode had um, a lot of variable like it was in it was, it was fun to watch there was no filler episodes if that if that makes sense I think it was what six episodes eight episodes there's no filler episodes every episode felt complete and full um, the the character of Lucy was uh, quite plainly grown up in a vault, which is a, a nuclear bunker. For those that don't know, that is fake. It's like people were kind of like naive in across across the population in that vault because they grew up being brainwashed into the fact that that's how life was, and you know, you you serve a purpose, and your purpose is to breed essentially, and contribute to the community it's a small community and i I would like to think that the the naivety um would have would have been a result of her environment her environment being of course a very sterile safe place where nothing bad happens and if you live in a cell if you live in a in that sort of environment you are naive to the fact that the world outside is hostile dangerous um the concept of killing um you know danger probably doesn't even exist in her world and she quickly realizes um after a few days that um that there's a whole new side to human beings which is uh the reality is that there's there are souls so yeah uh, yeah i i i don't i don't think that it was over the top night i, I think it was like pretty clear that they the, the film directly the, the showrunners wanted to put across that she was a product of her environment i wasn't too put off by the fact that she was over naive in fact i think that by halfway through the show it, you know that naivety had gone it was a good little transition from naivety to realization um and obviously the plot twist as well which we well, I, won't, I won't go go into there's a plot twist you know some would say quite predictable um some say you know some people have criticized the, the story as being very very um obvious and predictable but um for me i thought it was very enjoyable um i would give fallout an eight out of ten um personally I mean, I, it's funny the lady at sainsbury's mentioned it the other day she said have you seen fallout and i was like no she's like oh it's an amazing series you gotta watch it and i was it just is, like it's, it's a really good series it, yeah. you don't have to and the great thing about it is you don't have to know anything about the game they, they are true and loyal to the game law but they at the same time they don't expect you to know the ins is it and outs like of Fallout. Similar to The Last of Us. No, it's it's not similar to The Last of Us. In uh-huh. um, it's um, it's set obviously post apocalyptic nuclear war. It's a, like an alternative timeline to what our timeline is. The bombs fell in twenty seventy seven, and technology was different because in in the Fallout universe, it was kind of like it really kind of feels like you're back in the 1950s a lot of the technology that came out was very chrome and 
it was like it, it was it's like it's almost like um i don't know what the terminology would be behind it but you have to watch it to really appreciate it it's very um steampunk-esque and it's I, I liked it i i thought it was really good and i thought it was a breath a breath of fresh air on tv and if you've got amazon prime and you've got the ability to watch it then uh, just check it out and watch a few episodes that's what i would say um not sponsored stream that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> well just you know i'm still watching dan um... chatting up the woman at sainsbury says far tug <laughs> i don't need to chat them up mate they chat me up but um no i mean this black mirror i'm watching on netflix so once i finish that I'm oh, yeah. black, good mirror, lad. black mirror is really good yeah it's a scary yeah. good lad. black mirror is scary yeah, I watched the um, the Lock Henry episode last Saturday, which I oh, thought yeah. was really good. Is that the and... investigation one? Yeah, and it was well, pretty yeah. creepy. Well, yeah, man, it is, like, it's was, dark, um, isn't it? It's really dark, isn't it? Very dark, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some real it's dark good. episodes Ever. there. Ever. So, um, um... But my favourite my favorite Black Mirror episode is probably... Um... My fi- uh, the, probably the one where it was called with the one with the the social media, where you've got mm. you've got to be fake to make to to get like points. I can't. Oh, remember, I remember that one. Yeah, with the points. Yeah, that's a pretty cool. Episode. I I thought yeah. I I I watched it. I thought I can see that really happening. I really. But it's can. in Japan. I, it's it's pretty much in it. Japan, isn't it? In China. In China, yeah. There's like a social credit system zone. where you've got to be nice to each other. You'd be screwed, Steve. You'd be like a one star. <laughs> wouldn't you, to be honest. <laughs> No, I wouldn't have any fake. stars. You've got to be fake. You've got to fake it to make it and literally yeah. just be nice to everybody. Give me a five-star review. I can get a nice house. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, yeah, great. Yeah, anyway. Moving on. Nosedive. That's it. Nosedive. Walter Goggins is worth a what? Yeah, very good. Very, very good. We, we move on um, to my team. The radio station was a big part of the story to get information and details about the story I think I never played. I think, I think when it comes to Fallout, I think season two is going to have a lot to live upon. I mean, I think people getting excited about new vegas featuring at the end of uh, the the series i mean again i don't want to spoil it for anyone so if you haven't watched it and you know about fallout but um there's a lot of excitement um i may have just given away a little bit of spoiler but there is a lot of excitement in the fallout community as to series two and where they could go with it because of the factions that have yet to be properly implemented into the tv show and from what i've seen and heard there's a lot of there's a lot of scope, a lot of scope to the show that they can delve into. Um, but anyway, my team uh, is nowhere near as good as yours. Like my team is a is a wreck compared to your teams. In fact, I've got no, I, I've literally got no hope in my mind of catching you guys. Um, I've got. Well, this free... is when you're going to catch. <laughs> no, no, I've got I've got two free transfers, and this is my team right now. I've got. Um, I've got uh, right here. How many double gaming players? I've got three. Three. Do- I mean, it's, it's quite tragic, really. Uh, it's quite tragic. I'm gonna have to do something about Harland. I'm gonna have to do something about. <sighs> Wouldn't it be ironic if Foden and De Bruyne outscore lots of these double gaming? They will do. They will do. I think I need to sort. My... So the players I want to sort out in my team are Maguire, Harland. And LaSalle's. Don't you want to keep Maguire for the double game at 37, though? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, I don't. So if I was to do... I don't want any Man United defenders in my team. They're not going to get any points. Um, Maguire, Haaland, and LaSalle's for double game. And I'll bench boost it. Screw it. I'm going to go... Who's the most? Who's the best players to bring in? What well, was doubles? There is nobody. The fixtures um, aren't that great. People are bringing They're Mitchell. Okay. People are bringing Shaw. Shaw could be a good one. Shaw of Newcastle. Why is he the most he ain't transferred got a in? Why is he the most transferred in? You check his fixture. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's oh, he's got, a game, he's got a double game with 37 against Brighton and United, but... Shaw. That can't be... Wow, okay. Um, player to bring in, maybe... 
looking at these, man, I'm not even like that excited at all about any of the prospects to bring in. I don't really want to bring any of these players in. Senesi? <laughs> I mean, Senesi maybe? As a, I mean, I don't need money. I don't need to save money. I can buy it. Let's just let's finish, let's get Eze in your mate. I can't do that because I'm not getting it. Oh fuck! Sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. I'm not thinking. Who would I get in? Solan Solanke. I thought I had Solanke. I don't know. Don't have Solanke. Um, Solanke in. Um. Get a Palace defender, Mitchell. Ten point five in the bank. I might get. F oh my god, this is a, this is crap, isn't it? I haven't got Saka in my team. To be fair, I thought I had Saka as well. I might go Foden to Saka, and then I'll do Anderson. No, do two Palace. White, maybe? What do you think of Ben White, Dan? I mean, good shout. I mean, we're not in the best form of the last couple of fixtures, but Wolves away, Chelsea at home for a double Gabriel. game week. Gabriel could be better than White, couldn't he? Oh, have you not got Gabriel? No. Oh, yeah. I'll go Gabriel. No, but what's the more chance of attacking return? Ben White in it. I don't know, Gabriel threat from set pieces, so He's very threatening, Gabriel. Yeah. Could could go one what about like going really crazy and going with like Is Trent playing? Is Trent fit? Yeah, he'll I mean, play. Last, the match report last night was that Trent was you know is Trent, very much involved chat, and playing is Trent, really well. Is Trent gonna play both games though? He's not, is he? Yes, he will. Bradley's not fit. So, get Trent in. Captain him. Oh, shit. I got. To, oh, I can't get Trent in. I forgot. I've got Virgil. Never mind. <laughs> so, uh, do, do, uh, yeah. Sorry, I'm being. I don't know. Um, Gabriel or Ben White? Gabriel, probably in it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking it's not. It's 50 50 for me. I really don't care. Get Ryan Christie. No, don't. Listen. I mean, well, it's we're, we're getting into desperate territory Munoz here. And... Says, uh, <laughs> says uh, that's what you've you, you got, Stevo. Mm. I don't want to be getting My the head same. Head. I don't want to be getting the same players that stevo has got in. Just on the off chance, you know. Oh man, Garnacho. There's a. Oh man, I'm not sure what I'm going to do actually. <clears throat> Eight point two from midfielder Trent Alexander Arnold. Eight point four. Why is six? Ten mil. That's a minus twelve. I'm not doing minus twelve. <laughs> By the way, if, uh, just while Jason's doing this, if you are enjoying the stream, uh, make sure you are hitting the like button. It would be really, really uh, appreciated if you're hitting the like button. If you are brand new around here enjoying the content me and Jason and Dan bring you, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It's uh, always uh, appreciated. Uh, what are you actually thinking, though, about moving forward, though, with your team? Because next week we've then got double game week 35, Jace. I honestly don't know, mate. I mean, in the chat... I might the just bit do a minus the... four, you know. I might just do a minus four, get Solanke, Gabriel, Mitchell in for Maguire, mm. Lasalle's and Haaland. Do it. Mateta, Darwin. A 5.1 in the bank. What chips do you have? But I've got bench boost. Have I got bench boost? Have I... Steve, have I got bench boost? Yeah. I didn't use Because you haven't boost. got triple captain to see what I have. Did I use my... No, no, no. no. You, you've just got bench boost left. I can't even remember. Oh, yeah, I've just got bench boost there. Yeah. What do you reckon? 
make a punt on Diaz from Sheffield. You're joking. Oh. Oh, he's a decent player, <laughs> but like, I mean, come on. Well, I'm doing this. I'm just doing it in minus four. Semenya is fit. Right, I'm just going to do that. Pick team. Flecken in goal. Flecken, Virgil, Mitchell. You've just done the transfers? Yeah, just done them. Yeah. You've just done it? For real? Yeah. Who have you done? I just did Solanke, um, Mitchell and uh, Gabriel for M- Maguire... The oh god, I can't remember now. Garnacho. Mm, no, no. Still got Garnacho. Lascelles. Lascelles. That was it. Lascelles, Maguire, and Harland out for Solanke, Gabriel, Mitchell. Brilliant. <laughs> and I'm gonna so... captain Darwin Nunes. No, you're not. He's just doing this to troll, you know. And I'm going to bench boost. You want bench boost in this team? Jesus Christ. Why wouldn't I bench boost this team? Well, the, Luton... <laughs> Luton are at home to Brentford. That's got goals galore in it. And I mean goals yeah, galore Dan, in it. Yeah, might get it. something in it. Do you know what? Yeah, please do. I've hit bench it. boost. I'll hit the bench boost. Crack on. All good, my friend. All good. Bench boost. Team... What do you reckon, chat? This is going to outscore Steve-O's all-star team. Start preparing for bench boost. 70. Nah, 37. Nah, I don't care. I don't care. Literally, just don't give a crap. Darwin Nunes. What's his, for? his form's pretty crap, in it? Let's be honest. His form's crap. Salah. I think I'd rather Salah captain if I'd go for chip. Bench Gusto. It doesn't matter, mate. I'm bench boosting. Do, is it a waste of a bench boost, this team? Yes. But I encourage you to do it just for the sake of doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's us. Yeah, yeah. Is what I say. But Dan, have you done your transfers? Have you officially done them? I will save it to the morning, Steve-O, because um, in the morning I won't remember a thing to quite a famous <laughs> song. Looking at this team, it's it's crap. But, you know, it could do something. It could do mm-hmm. something. You never know, Steve. It might flukely get me another 84 points. It probably will, knowing my luck. Um, Steve, how's Wallace doing? Says uh, FPL Stanza in the chat. How's what? Wallace doing. Wallace? I've no idea what he's all about. Neither do I. That's, I. I thought it was an internal Bri- joke. Br- brilliant chat, that. Great. That's That's the kind of chat that we want. Okay. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, well, that's that's that. Um, let's go over the leaks, shall we? Yeah, just go over the. I suppose the you. You don't need to go into the Patreon stuff because I cover that anyway. Just go into the YouTube uh, chat. YouTube, league. even rivals okay. league. Well, we've got Harbour Boy top of that. Uh, Twenty-one thirty-two mm. points. Um, points coming from the mighty Harlan captain decision there. Mm. Um, 81 points he scored less than me yeah so he, he ain't that good uh, but doing very very well of course his overall rank at the moment is uh, 1050 1050 yeah, yeah. uh, he's set up pretty decently for the uh, double so yeah it'll be interesting yeah I mean he's got your favourite man Eze. he's got Solanke he's got he's got probably tr- has he got transfers He's well, he's got one transfer available. Probably going to get rid of Harlan. I don't know. He might not. Um, yeah, he's, he's set up okay. He's probably got a better. He's got a better setup than I had. Had, but that's not exactly hard. Um, the where was, oh, he's got. So, he's a member of so many leagues as well. Like, come on, mate. I think it's full capacity as well. Like, come on, mate. I've got to find the bloody league now. There we go. Um, 
Hold My Beard, Gary Dawson's in second place, 71 points, 2094. He's on at the moment. He captained Haaland. Surprise, surprise. Um, Muniz is in his team. Uh, he's got Odegaard in his team. Um, Dan, Odegaard, is he a good option differential for this week? Definitely, because he's been playing well in the recent games, even though we've lost. Um, firing shots away, drive, I mean, particularly in that first half against Villa. So, yeah, it's a nice little differential. I mean, I would have got him myself, but I've already got Havertz and Saka, mm. so I'm going to stick with them. Cool. Harry, we know Harry. He's been in the chat. He's third in the chat league. He's uh, doing very well, 28-4. His overall rank is uh, 11,400. He knows his stuff. He knows his business. He's, uh, the only downside to Harry, of course, is he supports uh, the wrong team. He supports Chelsea. Um, but, of course, he's very excited now because he's got uh, the young whippersnapper in Palmer. Uh, he's doing very, very well. Um, 71 points scored. Captain Harland, he's got himself a son to deal with, um, which I'm sure he's already dealt with. Um, Mateta's there. He's got Solanke already. Yeah, I mean, again, he's he's set up. He's set up. He's got at least yeah, he's got two free transfers going into this week, so he's probably going to do Harland and Son out. Is what I'm thinking. So, let us know, Harry, if he's still there. Um, YouTube chat league. Um, fourth place got John Harris. Right, John. It's fourth place. Uh, fourth place in the chat. In the chat there, you got seventy three points. Uh, Harlan captain uh, Darwin to Salanki seven. Palmer twenty six. Yeah, I mean it's most of the points coming from Harland and Palmer, of course, in the previous game week. Pad Pedro Porro played because eight Nori didn't. Ha. Huh. As a third bench, missed out on ten points. Crazy. And annoyingly, because then he'd be top of the trophy league. I want John to win the trophy league, Jace. You, you, you're rooting for John. Cool. Um, so that's the fourth spots in uh, that. Uh, we go to the, um, the trophy league, shall we? No, no, the rivals league. Just, just finish. Rivals that. league. We got to Gary again. Uh, Harbour boy, top of that. Um, Ayush, cash me outside. Is second in that one. Is uh. Same old Harlan Captain Palmer there, getting the majority of the points. No standout options in these teams that I've seen so far, really. Everyone's got the same teams. But, yeah, it's 77 points from Ayush there. Um, then we've got uh, second place in the Rivals League, if I can find it here in this list of leagues, which is great, isn't it? I'll just go back here because I'm on a silly little browser thing. Uh, right, we've got Scousers United, Daniel Trebarak in the uh, bench. third place. 79 points. The bench is, is uh, yeah, it's a bit sad here. We've got uh, a good 23 points um, from both Eze and Shah Henderson with nine as well. So, um, of course, Havertz getting him nothing because, uh, of course, Danny's crap. You'd expect him to get one point, wouldn't you? McAllister, I don't rate him at all as an FPL asset. I would have probably played, I would have played as a personally over McAllister. I would. It's a shame, isn't it? It's a shame that Porro uh, was there instead of Shah. You could have got more points then, couldn't you? You got seventy nine points. It's decent enough. But it's a third in the uh, the right in the rivals anyway. So um, there is that. Fourth place Seven. in the rivals is. Um, seven thousandth in the world as well. Seven thousandth in the world. Not not doing that bad. I probably should listen to my advice really, shouldn't he? Be be five thousand. Um don't smith my row, says Joe Nicholson. Um fourth place in the rival, seventy five points again, Harland, Palmer. He had Isaac, twelve points. Um good old Isaac. Both you doggy and Gabriel netting him nothing. Um Gabriel getting zero. God. A lot of zeros in this team. Foden, zero. Eight Nuri, zero. The Cells, obviously, zero because he, he's not playing. But yeah, he needs some issues. He's got some issues in this team to sort out, Steve O, hasn't he? He's got uh, a few flags here and a few players that you probably want to move on. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what he does, whether he um, takes a big hit. He's, he hasn't got any transfers available. Oh, he's got one transfer. He's not saved a free transfer. He's got free one. hit. He'll be free hitting this yeah, week. Yeah, probably. So yeah. 
Do that slap. Good. That is that. Cool. I think that probably pretty much wraps it up, Chase. I don't think there's much really to, mm -hmm. I'm not to gonna add to unless you're the, down or something to say. I'm not going to be able to see much of the football action uh, this weekend. I'm going to be um, doing a lot a, a lot of uh, pre preparation for the rehearsal that we're doing tomorrow. We've got the big hall. We've, uh, we're at, um, so we're not just doing a band practice. We're actually doing a set um, run through. We're actually going to run through the whole set in a, in, a, in a hall that we've booked out. So there's a lot of cabling and stuff and problem solving that we're going to do and lighting and stuff so i'm going to get a video of it so maybe if i'm brave enough Good. i might share the video with uh the page do it do it so yeah um so I, I, even if it, even if it means me sending you the video and then you putting it on the patreon we'll just do, do that um but anyway that is it for me steve-o and dan have you got anything you want to say before we head on off to the uh the oh. are we not doing score predictions Oh, God Almighty! I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I want to be in bed. Dan, Dan, yes, you can, really, really, you can go off song been... really quickly. You know that. If you want to do school predictions, get through them. I can't be bothered to be hearing a. Go on, no, then. I'm, I'm a, this is the best part of the predictions. I'm quite, I'm quite shocked. Okay. This is this is the Pierre de Resistance of the okay, Friday let's, let's, thing. Let's, we'll hear right. just from... I'm going to go put the kettle on while you start doing them. Then yeah. I can't believe you two. Right. Anyway, waffling on about some leagues. Anyway. Okay. Well, um, it, 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 we, we kick off then tomorrow at three o'clock with Luton versus Brentford. Personally, I think this will be a high scoring game. And I'm going to go. Oh, I'm going to go. I'm thinking 3 3. I'm going to. I'm just going to nearly drop it down. Here. I'm going to go 2 2 down. Yeah, it's, it's a big game, isn't it, for both teams? And, you know, obviously Luton, they, they need the win, don't they? So I'd like to see Luton stay up, personally, after the way they've played this season. Brentford have had a tricky time. They got the win against Sheffield United last time out. I'm going to go... I'm going to go to all, actually, in this game. You're going to go to all as well. I, I, I think it could be a, a very high-scoring game with... Um... And Burmo potentially doing quite well in that game. The next fixture is massive regarding the relegation in the sense of we could, we win this. This is Sheffield United versus Burnley. We win this. We, we pretty much relegate Sheffield United. We lose. It's just a case of we're still both going down. And obviously, depending on how results go, for us, uh, like with the likes of Luton and Nottingham Forest, I, I do think that we've got a really, really good chance here, Dan, to, to win the game. <sighs> Sheffield United are just terrible, but we're not exactly great either. I'm sorry to say this, like the form is suggesting, a draw. I think I'm just going to go with a, a, a I'll go with 2-2, two, two, Dan. This is ridiculous. I'm going to go with high-scoring draw again. I think Burnley are going to nick this game, Steve-O. And um, okay. they beat them, as you probably, well, you know, in the reverse game, 5-0. I know Sheffield United of recent times have been a bit more spirited. The games have been a lot closer. It's a big game. It's a massive game for both teams. It's the traditional six-pointer, if you like, in that relegation zone. Felt a bit sorry for the Brighton goal, uh, not Brighton, sorry, the Burnley goalie last weekend, Murich with that error um, after the game against Everton. There's been tight games for Burnley recently, obviously drawing at Chelsea, um, narrow defeat to Everton, draw Brighton. But yeah, I, I just have a feeling Burnley going to nick it. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go to my, my favourite score, I'm going to go 2 1 to Burnley. Well, Sheffield United have been involved in some extremely high-scoring games over the last six. 6-0 six loss, 2-2, two, 3-3, two, three, 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 loss, 2-2, two, 2-0 two, two, loss. So, yeah, this has got a high scoring written all over it. The history is suggesting the home team is not going to lose. In fact, it's suggesting the home team will win. And, yeah, apart from two ridiculous score lines in a 5-0 and a 5-2 in the Championship... They've all been very low scoring, 1-1, one, 1-0, one, one, nil, one, nil, 2 nil. Yeah, like I say, I think that 
it's it's got a draw written all over it, one one or no, I said two two, didn't I? I'll stick with that. Uh, we then move on to well, you said that it's an evening fixture. It's up against Wolves. I'm a bit gutted that you're playing on Saturday evening. I was hoping that you'd be playing on Sunday. Alas, that's not the case. Uh, it is going to be on Sky Sports. And yeah, it is Wolves versus Arsenal, Dan. I'm, I, I think you're going to nick this because Wolves have got no strikers. I'm going to go with Arsenal to win this 1 0. Yeah, it's always a bit weird these Saturday evening games, isn't it, really? Um, I'm a massive fan of it myself. But yeah, Wolves have got the injuries um, to key players. It's going to be a tough game. Away to Wolves is always a tough game, and I keep saying it's the evening game. And we've, I just against Bayern, I felt we went out of a bit of a whimper, really, if I'm honest. And you know, we're not scoring the last couple of games, but we should just, in your words, have enough to get over here. I say I'll do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go two 0 Arsenal, and um, what we need to do is beat Wolves. Beat Chelsea next Tuesday and put the pressure back on Man City, and that's all we can do at the moment. Absolutely, Com- completely agree with that. Uh, we then move on to the following day, which is Everton versus Nottingham Forest. Uh, Everton are just going to sit back and just put up a brick wall against Nottingham Forest. It will. I don't think it will work, and I think this game's going to be ending up as like a. A one one. I'm gonna go one one, Dan. Yeah, I mean Everton got pumped six nil, didn't they, on Monday? But good old Chelsea. Um Forrest uh involved in that uh two all draw, lively game against Wolves last time out. Big game is I mean you could call it the, the uh deduction derby um with what's happened this season. I don't know. I got a feeling. No, I'm going to go one all. I think Sean Dyche is going to, like you say, ultra defensive after that game on Monday. Forrest got a bit of quality. Morgan Gibbs, White, Chris Woods. Yeah, one all. Aston Villa coming off the back of uh, well, a, um, a penalty shootout against Lille. Uh, the game ending three all after the aggregate score line. And yeah, they're at home to Bournemouth. Bournemouth, a team who, my understanding is, they actually perform slightly better away from home than they do at home. But I don't think that's going to matter in this particular fixture. I do think they'll score. I think Aston Villa have just got enough, and I'm going to go with two-one. Yeah, I actually watched the reverse fixture live. Cracking game it was. To all, as you said. And, you know, Villa in great form, obviously beat us last weekend, qualified last night after the nervy shootout and whatnot. Martinez up to his old tricks. Um, tricky one to call this, actually, because Bournemouth, you know, um, played well, but Villa have got more to play for. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go 3-1 Bournemouth. Uh, 3-1 Villa, sorry. <laughs> I hope it's free on Bournemouth, but I'm going to go free on Villa. Wow, Wow, that is a big scoreline. Crystal Palace up against probably a very tired West Ham. Crystal Palace improved of late. They've done they've done okay, but we all know what's going to happen here. They've just beaten Liverpool one nil at Anfield, and now they're going to lose to West Ham three nil or something like that. I I think these two games are going to just equal each other out here. I'm going to go one one. Yeah, I mean, West Ham, narrow, you know, obviously they went out to Leverkusen, no disgrace in that last night, the new German champions and well done to them. But like you said, Palace, amazing victory for them last Sunday. And uh, Eze and Elise and the team, they're looking a bit, you know, obviously a lot better and a lot more confident. And... No, I, f- I fancy. I know what you're saying about after the Lord Manor show, but I fancy Palace to to do West Ham. Bowen is he going to be fit? Is he not going to be fit? I'm going to go four two to Palace. Bloody hell! The history suggesting a high scoring game. So 
Bloody yeah. hell. Well, talking of high scoring games, I think this next game could be a belter. Fulham versus Liverpool. And I'm going to go with. <sighs> I want to say Liverpool, but I just have this feeling Fulham are going to nick it. I'm going to go with. No, I'm going to stick with Liverpool to hell with it. I'm going to go 3 2 to Liverpool. Should be a really exciting game, actually. I mean, it was 4 3 in the league at Anfield. And then in the Carabao Cup. 2-1 to Liverpool at home and then one all away. So quite tight games between the two teams this season. Fulham have been really good at home. Um, they've done us, you know, and they've got some good individual players. It's a tough one, tough one to call. I'm gonna uh, do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I think Liverpool are just gonna nick this one. I'm gonna go two one to Liverpool. Yeah, if you've got 50p spare, put 50p on Fulham to beat Liverpool. We then come on to the the second fixtures for the double game weekers, in this case, starting off with you lot versus Chelsea. It's a big, big game. I Chelsea will score in this. I'm going to go with a high-scoring game here, Dan, and I'm going to go with... I'm just going to go with another 3-2. To you lot. To you lot. I think... I'll, I'll, I don't know if I'll make the next stream if it ends up like that. 3-2, bloody hell. Um... Yeah, I mean, we'll see what Chelsea do against Man City in the Cup semi-final of the big game tomorrow. That, that'll impact their confidence, won't it, as well? Um, we drew two all with them last time at uh, Stamford Bridge. I think this is going to be a tough game, steve really is. Um, I'm actually going to, the opposite of you, I'm going to say 1-0 to the Arsenal. Another Thanks. another clean Boom. sheet there. Well, Wednesday we have Wolves versus Bournemouth. I think Wolves are gonna. I think they're gonna nick this one, and I'm gonna steal the same result that you've just said for Arsenal. I'm gonna go one nil to Wolves. Well, I can't finish a stream without predicting a, a win for my hometown or hometown at the moment. Um, I'm going to go Bournemouth to nick this one because, like you said, they do play well away from home. I'm going to go 3 2 to Bournemouth. Crystal Palace at home to Newcastle. Two teams that I think are just going to go for it, but I think Newcastle have got the better quality. And I'm going to go with Newcastle to win this. I'm going to go, I don't know why, I've got 3 1 in my head. I'm going to go 3 1 to Newcastle. Yeah, it should be a good game. Uh... You know, Newcastle picked up, smashing Tottenham 4 0. So that put a smile on my face mm. this week, anyway. And nicking a great win away to Fulham 1 0. So back to back clean sheets, a damn burn effect. Sat on my bench again for six points. Not that I'm bitter or anything. Um, I'm going to go, just for Isaac, the form that he's in, I'm going to go 2 1 to Newcastle. We've got the Anfit with the Liverpool. The Merseyside derby, bloody hell, I can't speak. The Merseyside derby, Everton up against Liverpool. The history suggests a tight game. I think it will be a tight game. And I just think that Liverpool are going to win this 2-0. Yeah, I'm going to steal that. I, I did think it in my head, 2-0. I don't think Everton are not, have got enough quality. There's fitness concerns over Calvert-Lewin. So, yeah, 2-0 Liverpool. Uh, we now Jason's team, Man United against Sheffield United. Really, Man United should be coming through this pretty comfortably here. I'm going to go with Man United to win this. They can't score, but it's be like one or two nil. I'll go two nil. I mean, are we sleeping on United assets? Because I think they're going to. Um, I think they're going to have a little bit of fun in this fixture. It depends what happens with Sheffield United Burnley game, but. I'm going to go 3 0 Man United. Nice. And when we finally end up with Brighton versus Man City, everybody's removing Man City players left, right, and centre. I think that's a big mistake. So I think they're going to smash Brighton here. I'm going to go 4 1 to Man City, Dan. <laughs> well, I mean, God, you're probably right. But uh, I'm hoping Brighton can do us a favour. I mean, they drew... <laughs> this is me clutching onto straws. They drew against them last season, Steve-O. One all, right? At Brighton. But, but, but Man City had already won the league by then. 
So, um, yeah, I, I think Man City will win 3 1. And that, ladies and gentlemen, wraps up everything. Jason, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Thanks for uh, sticking it out. <clears throat> no, thank you. Uh, do you want to just close out the show, Jason? We can all say good night. Thanks for being here, guys. Uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. I'll let you guys know and Steve know when I'm free. And um, yeah, just uh, best of luck on your uh, weekend. And uh, hopefully, I'll have some news regarding the Patreon video of our rehearsal. So, on the, on that note, uh, have a good one. Good night, everybody. Good night, all. Cheers, Dan. Cheers. Good night, everyone. Cheers, Dan.